let's look into the future. See what the world of art direction inevitably becomes. Excuse me. Don't worry, Kevin, I'm not listening. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. Can somebody please put up the damn title card? I'll cut right to it. Advertising's place in our world is going to look a whole lot different. Hell, you may not even recognize it as advertising at all. Traditional methods like billboards, commercials, display ads, and more will slowly die. Right along with the marketing dollars of companies who refuse to pivot and will be completely replaced with more seamless, non-disruptive brand experiences. Ads that don't feel like ads. That's right. Art directors of the year 20 something soonish will be illusionists with the best of intentions. Designing more natural ways for brands to interact with and connect with their customers. That means creating brand engagement within the metaverse, merging the digital and physical world with augmented reality, and creating branded entertainment for what will be a common household staple, the VR headset or other spatial device, will be just another typical project on your daily docket. With these new, capable, but not yet fully explored mediums comes new and innovative ways of working. But it's not just what we're making that will change, but how we're making them. Should I do my Paul Revere bit? No? You sure? The AI is coming! The AI is coming! AI is here, like it or not. And it's only going to get better. Become more artificial intelligenter. I, for one, am absolutely, positively f pumped. No matter what your parents, your friends, your teachers, or your colleagues have told you, AI isn't an art director job killer. Let me repeat, AI is not an art director job killer. It's an art director job enhancer. A set of new innovative tools to make us more efficient, more creative, more powerful. Think about it. Right now we use computers, tablets, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects, Premiere, Procreate, Blender, plugins, stock websites, and hundreds more handfuls of tools to make ad things. But what is known as the golden age of advertising between the 60s and 80s, they had none of that. Our art director resources and capabilities have absolutely exploded from decade to decade. AI has next. Let's play with them. As the title of this video suggests, I promise a deep dive into artificial intelligence within the art direction space. So take on this portion of the vid however you'd like. You could pause along the way and explore these AI tools for yourself, or just binge through our little AI overview rapid fire to get a gist of what's available to you. As you're probably already aware, the AI landscape is already moving and grooving. There will be plenty more AI giants emerging after the post of this video. Smarter and more powerful than ever. The purpose of this video is to provide you with the right now to help us better predict what's to come. But before we get there, please like and subscribe. It really does do a lot to help the channel. For doing so, here's a picture of a cute baby pig. I also have a book to help you build your portfolio and become an AD if you're not one already. That's on Amazon, link in the description. And now back to our not so regularly scheduled programming. Up first, we've got Mid Journey. Unless you've nervously chosen to ignore AI up until clicking on this video, no shame, you've probably heard of this one. A powerful AI art generator that can pump out this, or this, or this by simply inputting some simple text prompts. To access this beast, head over to discord.gg slash midjourney. There you'll find an ever updating scroll of other users' artwork, live. Sit back, let it roll, and take a sec to analyze the feed. See what others are inputting, what keywords are getting the best results. But of course, don't be afraid to jump into it yourself. Let's pump out a few of our own. Let's make a steampunk Nike shoe. I would 1000% rock these. Maybe some futuristic neon Nikes? Now let's sit back, relax, and marvel at our digital shoe masterpieces. Though they sometimes offer free trials, Midjourney usually runs off some standard subscription plans that'll run you somewhere around 10 bucks a month. But hey, while you're still getting your feet wet, free sounds better, right? Dolly was an alternative option to Midjourney that is housed under OpenAI and completely free. The user interface is cleaner, much simpler, 
You can type a prompt just like Midjourney and get a handful of results. It's fast, it's easy to use, but the output quality in my experience isn't really, with no disrespect to the AI overlords, the greatest. To me, it's more of a tool to quickly have your imagination realize as a starting point, a reference, if you will, to use when creating your own artwork. Now, the third iteration looks like it'll be much improved and even more nuanced with highly detailed and accurate images and text. So I'll probably be eating my words soon enough. But what if there was a platform that had the ease of use of Dolly with the quality of Midjourney? I bring you Bing. What used to be a Google wannabe is now Microsoft's take on AI image generation. And it's pretty sweet. Open up a tab, head over to bing.com slash create and get ready for the real time magic to begin. You know the drill, type words, click button, get pictures. Now look, for now, not all of your outputs are going to be perfection, insta-worthy, ready for ads, but we are now able to quickly bring the ideas of thoughts bouncing around in our head to life in just seconds. That's pretty cray. Now in time, there is absolutely no doubt that these image generation tools will become more and more refined, especially when AI learns how to make hands. They kind of suck at that at the moment. Eventually the output quality from photography to illustration to even video will be so finessed, so real that these outputs will be completely usable assets. Clip, drop, clip, drop, clip, drop. Look, this is just a fun one. At clipdrop.co, there is an ecosystem of apps to do some pretty cool things, from upscaling to relighting to doodling Pictionary style. You can turn crappy mouse sketches into AI art within seconds. And, and you can even cycle through all sorts of design styles and aesthetics. I could play around with this one for hours. I won't, we have a video to finish. Okay, just one more. ChatGPT is an advanced language model designed to generate human-like text responses. The primary purpose of ChatGPT is to engage in conversation with users, providing informative, creative, and contextually relevant responses to their prompts or questions. Or at least that's how ChatGPT described itself when asked what it is. It's pretty insane. Definitely the most creative chatbot there is at the moment. You want a poem about Benjamin Franklin riding a dinosaur? In the days of old, with wisdom in his stride, Benjamin Franklin, on a prehistoric ride, upon a dinosaur, he ventured wide, a fearless journey through history's tide. With kite and key, he tamed the lightning's flash, now atop a mighty beast, a daring dash. Through epics, eras, time's relentless clash, Franklin rode with courage in a world so brash. A founding father, scientist, and sage, on a dino's back, he turned a timeless page. In dreams and visions, he'd engage Benjamin Franklin, history's timeless mage. You need some idea help around a new glow-in-the-dark Nike shoe? Illuminate your stride, Nike Glow-in-the-Dark collection. Light up the night, run with unstoppable glow. Step into a world of innovation and style with Nike's latest masterpiece, the Glow-in-the-Dark collection. Designed to ignite your passion for sport and fashion, these shoes bring a whole new level of excitement to your workouts and nighttime adventures. From social tactics, launch events, and product demos to a variety of other tactics and activations, though slightly generic, there are some pretty nice territories and thought starters here to begin with. One hell of a creative companion. ChatGPT can help you push your creativity, develop lines, brainstorm ideas, and so much more. A 30 minute back and forth with your newest creative partner can give you a ton of idea fodder to further explore, experiment with, and refine into fully formed concepts. But what do you type to garner the best results? Prompting within ChatGPT is an art form in itself. Here's a cheat sheet to help you master it quickly. Five seconds on the clock to pause or screenshot. Five, four, three, two, one. We know Adobe. Photoshop, Illustrator, and that whole gang. Adobe Firefly is their leap into the AI sphere. From text to image generation, to extending a photograph beyond what was captured, to filling in parts of an image that aren't really there, like this be crazy. To creating vector art by typing a quick prompt. To creating various color options for your artwork. To upscaling by two, four, or even six times. To, well, you get it. 
Firefly hopes to be Adobe's one-stop solution to take care of a large amount of AI tasks while playing together nicely with their suite of products. But advertising is not just about the visuals. Where are those writing robot helpers at? Now for a real gem from our friends over at Google to push our creative writing. Text effects can create metaphors on a particular theme, give a random POV on a subject of your choosing, help with alliteration and other writing devices, compare two distinct topics and put them on the same wavelength, and tons more wordy cool stuff. If you're writing ad copy, it's a multi-dimensional tool to up your literary game. Before we move on, let's fuse the words human and AI. Both humans and AI have the potential to be creative and innovative. Humans by their capacity for imagination and problem solving, and AI by its ability to learn and adapt. Facts. Okay, this one kind of cracks me up. Crisp helps you clean up your remote video calls. It automatically removes background noises and echoes so that you're crystal clear. It can transcribe your meetings and provide you with a short summary of what was discussed. But here's where it gets pretty hilarious. It will soon help clean up your desk if it's messy, or help you look more put together when you woke up just minutes ago. Basically making you slob proof. The absolute and utter deception. Speaking of cleaning up your workspace, let's do that digitally too. Notion AI is a collective workspace, an AI multi-tool to aid you in a variety of tasks, big and small. It can help you brainstorm big ideas. It can help you check grammar. It can write entire blogs. It can manage your calendar. It can house all your design assets. It can automate tedious tasks. Its power meets functionality. It's a collective dashboard that assists you at your job in a number of ways. A real game changer if you sit down and learn it. Where are my fellow photography nerds at? My picture people, my shutter bugs. I'd like to introduce you to Vance. He's three years old, he likes video games, staying up late and eating mac and cheese, and he's a photo editing behemoth. Basically, if you need anything done to your photography, he's your guy. He can denoise without losing quality, sharpen those blurry shots to make them extra crispy, colorize the old black and white photos laying around your grandmother's attic, enhance that extra detail that's out of focus, repair photographs with rips and tears, whatever you need. Visit your boy Vance. And here are a few other notables. Namelix helps you with naming a business. Beethoven provides custom background music for your video or podcast. Uizard can transform your hand-drawn wireframes into customizable UI designs. Pattern generates seamless, well, patterns. Copy develops text with marketing goals and conversion in mind. Akoya creates schedules and gains insights on your social posts. Video transforms your long form content into more bite sized videos. Maverick creates personalized e commerce videos from a single recording. Quick Chat is a chatbot that learns your company and speaks in a variety of conversation styles. Resume Worded rates and gives you tailored feedback to improve your resume or LinkedIn profile. And that, my friends, is 20 of them. 20 of a hell of a lot more. Way too many to fully grasp or really even care about. Learning every single AI tool out there is impossible. So take that pressure off. Ultimately, your goal is to pick an assortment of them to make your creative life easier. Now, if you just can't help yourself and you're looking to keep up with all of our emerging AI friends, head on over to there'sanaiforthat.com, a site that consistently informs you on what new AI tools are launching on a month to month basis. So where does this leave us? Scared? Excited? Confused? Here's what you need to know. A time will come, like super soon, where an art director's value will lean heavily into being a thought leader, the creative judge, the string puller, the ones with the skills and knowledge on how to use the plethora of AI tools at their disposal to bring an idea to life, lessening the gap between the vision and execution, with AI by our side as our newest, fastest, and effective coworker. So yes, Art direction as we know it today will end, just like it did in the mid 90s with the emergence of the internet and in the early 90s when Photoshop hit computers and in the 50s when people started promoting their business on this thing called the television. Shit changes, we change. It might be scary, you might be nervous. That's okay, that's fine. We'll pivot, continue learning and push forward confidently into this new age of AI advertising. I, for one, am extremely excited about the possibilities and new frontiers in which we'll get to create so that advertising doesn't get stale. 
boring. I mean, do you want to make the same things you're making now for the next 30 or 40 years of your career? I don't. Let's continually challenge ourselves as makers, creators, doers, entering a brand new chapter that starts with the words, what's next? I truly, truly appreciate you sitting down, taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you agree or even better disagree, feel free to slam me in the comments or share an AI tool that you're pumped about. I'd love to open up the discussion and just get a sense of how you're feeling about this gigantic shift. Have the best day, afternoon or night, depending on when you're watching, and I will see you in the future. The storm is coming, but I'm